a May or Parks Recreation Cemetery meeting to order at 5 p.m. And I will declare we have a quorum. Chairman Grundon is not present, so the president will be a voting member tonight. Chair will entertain a motion to approve the agenda for tonight, the meeting of March 27th, 2024 minutes. So moved. Moved by Betsy. Second. Second by Jen. Any questions? Anything you want pulled to discuss further? Mm -hmm. Hearing no request to speak, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. Do we have anybody online, Betsy? Not a soul. Okay. I have no comments because I'm not Tierra. Any comments from the committee? Um, I'll just, I know I said this at the last meeting, but just because um, I said public works, but it should have waited for this meeting. But um, we were down at the Memorial Day service and I got a lot of compliments on how well taken, how well the cemetery is taken care of and how it looks very nice. And Good. so I said that public works should have waited for this one. But uh, did you pass that on to the DPW director? I did. Yeah. Thanks for that comment. I'll definitely did, did he know. smile? Absolutely, Joe. Ear to ear. All right, Director of Public Works, Benny, just give us a, I'm now moving on to B, I'm now moving on to C, you take it and tell them, run with it, and uh, members, if you have any questions, just interrupt them and ask them at the time. Thanks, so. That's you too, Dwayne. Thank you. Um, parks update, um, obviously with the wet conditions the last uh, couple of weeks, it's been a struggle to keep the parks uh, mowed and maintained, um, but the guys have been out there doing the best they can. Um, a lot of Little League games going on, events of Memorial Day and graduation, and cemetery events. Uh, the guys did a heck of a job the last two weeks keeping up with those. So, as Betsy said, kudos to them. Thanks for all their hard work to uh, keep the parks updated. Um, Splash Pad is up and running as last week, Thursday. Um, no major issues there. Um, so, I know there's a few kids this week, and I was down there for some graduation parties using it. So, I expect that to uh, just keep increasing as the weather gets out and school gets out. Um, so, as always, if you guys see any issues in the parks as you drive by or hear anything, please let me know so we can keep them maintained um, for uh, high efficiency summer of use. Um, tomorrow night is uh, music in the park from 5 to 8 at Ripple Creek. Um, we have Yellow Pals performing, and we have Chatterbox uh, coming for the catering, and the uh, Peebo group from school is also going to be selling snacks and refreshments. Um, I did contact all three of them today. We're going to move it up to the tennis court slash basketball courts due to the wet grounds mm -hmm. down below. Um, we're gonna move everything up to the tennis courts. So we'll bring a few tables up there sure. um, between the wetness and the mosquitoes. Hopefully uh, <laughs> that may be able to uh, help uh, help with that. So uh, looking for a good turnout tomorrow night and um, and see what that event brings into the town. We'll definitely do some more PR work tomorrow and see if we can get out there. Um, moving next, um, update on the legacy bike trail. I have a question on parks quick. Absolutely. Geese, has there been a lot? I haven't seen a lot down there, but again, I'm not hanging out down there. I don't. You know, there's been three or four. Um, the okay. definitely the traffic and with now that we did change the ordinance in the park with now having your dogs on a leash walk through there, I definitely have seen an improvement. Okay. Um, you know, this time of year is. Joe will know the ducks start doing their different things and it, it can change where they're going to be. Um, you know, normally come fall, it gets to be worse when they're back in the area. But okay. you know, there's a few, but I think we've been able to keep moving around okay. and I haven't heard a lot of issues. Um, I just said one comment too. So the second music in the park, that Wednesday, August 28th, that does um, coincide with the back to school night too. Okay. So just a heads up if I don't get the same numbers. There, that's the event at both schools that night. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Maybe we'll, uh, I can definitely reach out and see if we can't get that moved to Tuesday or Thursday because Thursday is not back to school, right? No, no it's just Wednesday. And I don't know the times. I mean, okay. we'll discuss that. Uh, I'll kind of see what's available and I'll, we could discuss that in the June meeting. I'll get some more dates and bring that to the committee. Since so we're uh, talking about parks and all those dates. Anybody get any negative feedback on uh, garage sale date? Mm -hmm. No. I mean, it was, you know, obviously the, the, the traffic with the road construction definitely had a little bit of hindrance on some traffic, but um, people definitely seemed to get through town. The weather was good and I didn't hear any uh, issues. So 
Well, I came through Friday afternoon about 5.30 from Rapids down Seneca Road, and that told me already you stayed a hell off, excuse me, like it was Seneca Road and Port Road, because that was It was just very mad. busy. Yeah, that it didn't, the road construction so didn't help us. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so we'll dial look on them dates and I'll work with Jen and the school to make sure that we don't run the same dates because with people and other uh, people helping out for the event, we don't want to do that. So we'll we'll move that date, see what we can do. Um, moving next, up in the Legacy Bike Trail. Um, in your packet, I kind of give you a bike trail schedule. Um, obviously, if anybody's driven down the, the Tender Avenue down towards the, the Oasis gas station, you can see the last... Uh, Three or four weeks are down there starting on the safe crossing project, um, moving the curb and gutters, getting the crossing, getting things um, wrapped up over there before they come through with the mill and the paving of this project. So everything will work together. Um, basically, like I said, that'll be completed by July with the completion of this road project, just the, the crossing itself. Um, June and August, we're going to be doing the final design and plans completed. Obviously, um, some of the design work needs to be done during the June month due to the areas around there, some wetlands and other areas that they need to be able to do those design work in June is the best time of year for that. Um, the layout of the trail will be done, done in uh, August, meaning they'll be putting some flags. So we get the trail laid out all the way down to the bunker. Um, we'll be having some meetings with some property owners. Um, it's in the right of way though, just gonna be some discussion on trying to get the taper of the land and some of the different areas to get approval from the property owners if we need to, uh, you know, level it out a little bit so we don't have flooding the bike trail in the area around that. Um, the completion of the project and the most of the work will be starting in October and it'll be in, uh, construction completed in June next year as a final plan of uh, the trail construction for that. The September meeting can be held in the old Oschlager farm or now the Mansell Mansion. I think it looks right. Well, there. most of them will be uh, once I have the proper documents, I'll touch base with Nick and I'll just basically go door to door and with the map and explain it to people. I'll have it up marked out in front of their house so I can walk out there with the residents, show them what we're going to do and explain to them and have some Nick with some documents that are signing off, giving us approval that you know, what we need to do on that. But until we get the design done, the layout, I don't want to get too much depth in that to make sure we know where we're going to be. Um, Slope is what you're talking about, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so with that uh, bike trail project, um, if, if you guys are in aware of basically when we did this legacy grant, um, you know, we talked about um, doing the bike trail behind um, basically from Bruner Avenue to for Bunker. Um, which is like you guys have the Port Edward sheet that we sent to Legacy Foundation, just stating um, the resurface of the existing bike trail from Bruner Avenue to the tender, um, paint resurface other bike lanes. Um, if you have not been on the bike trail from Bruner Avenue to the bunker, it's in rough shape. Um, just over the years, it's, you know, again, we if anybody was here when we did this deal years ago, um, you know, we put it on an old railroad bed. It's uh, down to our property that we do a lease with them. We don't own the property. Um, so it's it's going to change. It's going to move. You know, we did the north end two years ago from Bruner to Seneca, and it's holding up pretty good. Not Jen can probably give us better, but I mean, it's definitely still smooth, I believe. Um, we're going to do some crack filling up there, but the area from Bruner Avenue to Bunker needs to get replaced. Um, so including that in this, again, as we told Legacy in part of the grant that we'd be replacing that blacktop, and your, and your packet also has a bid to redo the back bike path. Um, from Bruner Avenue to the bunker. Um, and then if you also look in at the estimated price for the whole bike shell project, you know, we had the numbers, you know, 455, there's a $500,000 grant. The pavement is 68. Um, there's some areas in the bike trail that we're gonna be able to do. There's relocation of hydrants and other things that would get to different departments. Um, so I, I feel strongly that we'd go ahead, we'd go ahead and repave that bike trail from Bruner to a bunker. And then, you know, as we get into next year, we can definitely regroup and see where the bike trail completion is, you know, try to move a few things to different departments that would go underneath their area to make sure we have completion of the bike trail and the funding. Any questions for Ben? So that was more of an update. I mean, it was, you know, approved and we, we did that. Just want to show you guys where everything was this to go ahead and um, get that, repave that area. And, uh, 
funds with you and the financials for the whole legacy bike trail. I'll pass quickly over old business then because that was back in March and I can't remember what the heck went on in March. <laughs> Parks committee. Old business or new business or correspondence received. Anybody? Okay. Any agenda items for the next meeting? <laughs> so I'm going to look to uh, move the music in the park to Thursday, August 29th, but I'm going to follow up with uh, make sure there's no football games that night mm -hmm. or any other school activities, and I'll bring that back in the June board meeting. Okay. Uh, committee, your opinion. Do we set a meeting or do we just, I just tell Tierra what we went over and she will set the next meeting. Marty? I'm okay with working with Tierra and getting back to, if I gotta get back to Jen and other committee members on a day. Very good. Uh, during the summer, here's one of those opportunities. If you're not gonna have a whole lot, just tell her that there's probably no reason to have a meeting in June. But July, you know, this time of year, it's good to have meetings because the parks are used pretty heavy, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, nip the problems in the bud as soon as they show up. Absolutely. Okay, if there's nothing further, I will officially declare this meeting adjourned at 5.11 p.m.